And we're going to begin this Friday morning on Capitol Hill, where after a week of high profile testimonies from current and former members of the Trump administration in relation to the impeachment inquiry, House investigators aren't done yet. A number of White House, Pentagon and State Department officials are expected to speak with lawmakers next week. Testimony from the past few days have painted a clearer picture of the Trump administration's dealings with Ukraine. However, a major revelation yesterday from a White House official not testifying could prove to be huge in the probe. Laura Podesta is joining me now. We are talking about Mick Mulvaney, the president's, uh, Mick Mulvaney, the president's acting chief of staff. Yes. He sort of stunned reporters. Absolutely. So <laughs> at this press briefing yesterday and the full press conference was posted on YouTube by the White House at the 22 minute mark, acting chief of staff Mick Mulvaney was asked by ABC's John Carl if there was a quid pro quo, if the U.S. was not going to let funding to Ukraine flow unless Ukraine in investigated the Democratic server as well. So Mulvaney said, and I'm quoting here, we do that all the time with foreign policy. CBS News has learned those remarks blindsided the president's attorneys and they have blindsided a lot of Americans who believe the president when he said there was no quid pro quo. Get over it. There's going to be political influence in foreign policy. Democrats quickly pounced on that admission from President Trump's acting chief of staff. Mick Mulvaney co-signed President Trump's confession to extortion. Things have just gone from very, very bad to much, much worse. After weeks of White House denials about a quid pro quo with Ukraine, Mick Mulvaney admitted military funding was linked to a political investigation. The corruption related to the DNC server, absolutely, no question about that. Um, but that's it, and that's why we held up the money. Mulvaney said President Trump wanted Ukraine to investigate a debunked theory about Hillary Clinton's emails, though he stood firm that there was no demand to investigate the 2020 election. No, the, money, the money held up had absolutely nothing to do with Biden. No Later, Mulvaney tried to clarify his comments, releasing a statement saying there was absolutely no quid pro quo between Ukrainian military aid and any investigation into the 2016 election. President Trump railed against the impeachment inquiry at a campaign rally in Dallas last night. At stake in this fight is the survival of American democracy itself. Meanwhile, the investigation marches on. Gordon Sundland, the U.S. ambassador to the European Union, told lawmakers he was disappointed when the president directed him to work with the president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, whose agenda, quote, included an effort to prompt the Ukrainians to investigate Vice President Biden. So because there was just so much news yesterday, people so might not have heard that there's another top White House official that announced he's going to be leaving. Yes, Rick Perry, energy secretary, he's going to be leaving at the end of the year. And that is in part because he's under scrutiny for the role he may have played um, with President Trump's call to Ukraine regarding investigating Biden and his son Hunter. But we should mention that in his letter to President Trump yesterday, Rick Perry made no mention of Ukraine or the impeachment inquiry. In fact, he just touted his successes as far as energy policy That's during his tenure. Very interesting because the news flies sort of fast and furious. People so may have forgotten fast. that the president at one point in this whole thing blamed him for the phone call to the president of Ukraine. He said he was being pressured by That's Perry right. to make that phone call and then that kind of disappeared afterwards. You know, yes, a lot of conflicting messages yes. yesterday and perhaps <laughs> in the days ahead. We'll exactly. see. Exactly. Laura Podesta, thank you. Thanks. So if you feel like you're falling behind on anything impeachment and want to fill in those blanks, head to CBSNews.com slash impeachment to read the very latest.